welcome students in this lecture we are going to derive the noise in cascaded systems which is otherwise called as fris formula okay and this fris formula it is used to calculate the total noise factor of cascaded systems so whenever we have two or more systems connected in cascade for such kind of systems the total noise factor can be calculated with the help of this fris formula let us consider two systems that is two amplifiers connected in cascade now so this is the amplifier 1 the noise factor in, of this individual amplifier 1 let us consider it as f1 and the power gain of this amplifier 1 let us represent it as g1 likewise we have another amplifier which is named as amplifier 2 the noise factor of this individual amplifier is f2 this is f2 and the power gain of this amplifier is g2 okay the total power of this cascaded system the total noise power of this cascaded system let us represent it as pn not right we have to go stage by stage so here this voltage source will contribute a noise power which is named as input noise power and this input noise power usually it is a thermal noise which is represented as k into tb we know it is boltzmann constant room temperature and bandwidth okay now this is available at the input of this amplifier 1 now along with this input noise power we have the noise power of this amplifier 1 available at the input which is pna and this pna1 it can be represented as f1 minus 1 into ktb we know this right so the total noise which is available at the input of this amplifier is going to be see here the noise at the input of this amplifier 1 is going to be pni plus pna1 pni is ktb pna1 is f1 minus 1 into ktb if you simplify this ktb ktb will get cancelled and pni1 is going to be f1 into ktb so noise power at the input of amplifier 1 is f1 into ktb we are going to find the noise power at the output of this amplifier 1 so if this input is passed through this amplifier then at the output of this amplifier this noise power is going to get multiplied by the gain of this particular input okay now the gain of this amplifier is g1 so the noise power at the output of amplifier 1 is we are representing it as p01 which is the same f1 ktb which is the noise power at the input total noise power at the input of amplifier 1 this should get multiplied with the gain of amplifier 1 so it becomes f1 ktb into g1 okay so we have determined the Uh, noise power at the output of this amplifier 1 now we are supposed to find the noise power at the output of this amplifier 2 which is going to be the total noise power now the input noise power to this amplifier 2 will be the output of this amplifier 1 along with the noise power of this amplifier 2 so this output of amplifier 1 should get added with amplifier 2s individual noise power okay so it becomes the noise power at the input of amplifier 2 is going to be pni2 which is the output of the first amplifier plus the noise power of the amplifier 2 output of the first amplifier is f1 ktb g1 which is f1 ktb g1 and here for pna2 we can say that this power is going to be f2 the noise factor of this minus 1 into ktb into ktb so the sum of these two will be the uh, uh, available at the input of amplifier 2 so f1 ktb g1 plus f2 minus 1 ktb now this input is given to the amplifier 2 which will get multiplied by the gain of this amplifier to produce the output noise power pno okay so the noise power at the output of amplifier 2 we can represent it as pno2 and the same can also be represented by the total noise power because this is the cumulative noise power available at the output of two amplifiers connected in cascade 
we have considered both amplifier 1 and 2 so total noise power is uh, the output of amplifier 2 we can take it as total PNO which is obtained by multiplying the input to this amplifier 2 with the gain of amplifier 2 so input to the amplifier 2 is this term gain of amplifier 2 is G2 if it gets multiplied it becomes F1 KTB G1 G2 F2 minus 1 KTB G2 so we determine the total input sorry total output noise power of cascaded systems and we know that uh, the power, overall power gain of amplifiers connected in case, cascade if I have two amplifiers connected in cascade then the overall power gain is going to be G1 into G2 right and the noise factor the formula to find the noise factor is ratio of output noise by input noise into gain okay so if I want to find the overall noise factor I have to substitute the total noise power that we have obtained at the output of two amplifiers connected in cascade in this case divided by the input noise power PNI into overall gain we know that PN0 PN0 is the numerator of this equation so it is F1 KTB G1 G2 plus F2 minus 1 KTB G2 we know that PNI PNI is the input noise power input noise power is KTB KTB so we have substituted PNI as KTB into overall noise sorry overall gain it is G1 into G2 if you simplify this equation in the first term KTB G1 G2 gets cancelled so it becomes F1 in the second term KTB G2 alone will get cancelled so G1 remains in the denominator so it is F2 minus 1 into G1 so we will get these two terms if we have two systems connected in cascade and if we add on more and more systems along with this suppose if there are three systems connected in cascade three amplifiers connected in cascades we will get the third term which is F3 minus 1 divided by G1 G2 if there are four systems F4 minus 1 divided by G1 G2 G3 like this it goes so we can find the overall noise factors of amplifiers connected in cascade with the help of this Friss formula thank you